How you guys look for here and welcome to another FIFA 20 player review and today guys I'm reviewing the 84 rated Ultimate Scream Saint Juice. This card is once again just like a lot of the other cards of the Ultimate Scream promo had an insane upgrade. I do believe he has got a 74 rated base card in FIFA 20. He's gone all the way up to an 84 with some absolutely insane increases. I was able to pick him up for 150,000 coins and in the four games that I played him if he didn't score me any goals or get me any assists. He's also got a free stoic foot as well as free star skill moves. Moving along into Zingham stats, his main standout stats are going to be his 85 stand tackle, his 83 interceptions, as well as his 85 acceleration, and finally his 97 jumping. And I did also have the Sentinel chemistry star applied to this Saints juiced card. And um, yeah, he looks absolutely quality. Like, you know, I mean, just insane pace, decent passing stats in the right areas. Like, you know, his short passing is good, his long passing isn't too bad either. Some of his dribbling stats actually might make him feel pretty good on the ball, like the, you know, the 81 agility, the 7 73 ball control, the 77 dribbling, and then really solid defensive stats, like 85 stand tackle, 83 interceptions, and obviously really good physical stats as well, that 97 jumping, um, the 82 strength, which you can obviously increase pretty nicely with that uh, Sentinel chem star, uh, and he was great to use in game, I took him into foot champions, he slotted into my main team very, very nicely, I just put him in for uh, Nicolas Soule, and, uh, and he played very well, I think he's a very, very good card, very solid. When I saw that he got released yesterday, I wanted to try and review him yesterday, but his price was fluctuating too much. Today, I was able to pick him up for 150k. He's roughly settling at around 155k to 160k on Xbox, and it's not a bad price. Yes, it's a lot for an 84 at card, but you have to remember what his stats are in game, and they're good in the right areas. And also, you can link him up with that uh, that Bundesliga um, league SBC card as well, that Brotus or whatever his name is or something. He looks a really, really good card, actually. But um, yeah, let's get into his prices. First one for him is going to be his tackling. Very good, solid defensive stats. 85 uh, stand tackle, 83 slide tackle. That Sentinel chemistry style takes his uh, stand tackle up to um, to 98, and also his slide tackle up to 96, which is very very impressive. And he made a lot of tackles for me in game uh, in, in the games that I played him with. I believe I won three of the foot champions games and only lost one of them, so it was a pretty good run to be quite honest there uh, for a change. Um, and yeah, and his tackling was fantastic. We did very well with Desai. Kind of like a cheaper version of Desai um, when you look at the stats and a very good pace, very slow defending and physical stats, and uh, kind of similar in passing and dribbling. If anything, actually, St. Juiced might look slightly a little bit better in passing and dribbling stats, but uh, don't get me wrong, Desai is the better player of the two, but, you know, for, for the value for money, St. Juiced is, is really, really good, don't get me wrong, but, um, yeah, tackling was brilliant. His second pro was also be his interceptions, made a lot of interceptions in game. He does have 83 interceptions, that Sentinel chem style takes them up to 87 interceptions, which is very good and very noticeable in game as well. And his all-round defensive play is very, very good, you know, for example, his, eight, uh, his defensive awareness goes from 80 to 88. That's good as well, so um, I, I couldn't Fault him defensive wise. I thought he was very, very slow. I I was able to kind of um, you know adjust to using him very easily in my main team in replace of Nicolas Sule. So yeah, I, I was very, very happy with that. And his final pro as well will also be his pace. Very, very slow pace stats. 85 acceleration and 84 sprint speed. He feels quick. He doesn't feel slow. If anything, he feels a little bit more quicker than the 84 pace. And I think that's down to the fact that um, his agility is really good at 81. Yes, his balance isn't the best at, at 66. But sometimes, typically, if a player's got really good agility or balance or just one of the other. Um, uh, and they've also got good pace. They feel, you know, insanely quick, and it does kind of help. But they've got good dribbling. It makes a card typically feel quicker. And uh, and he did feel pretty quick. He can keep up with a lot of the uh, opposition attackers. He was able to catch them up, or at least be able to, you know. Um, if, like at least be able to run alongside with them and try to make tackles and stuff. So I, I couldn't fault that with this card. In terms of the cons of the card, there aren't really any problems to him whatsoever. I mean. He's got good short passing on him. He's got you know, decent dribbling stats. Obviously, the dribbling stats, it doesn't really make a difference whether he's got great dribbling or not at the end of the day for a centre-back. You know, obviously, he mainly focus on the pace, defending and physical. But he's got that short passing to be able to play the ball out of danger. He's got good strength. His defending's good. His pace is good. It, you know, it's a quality car for his price, absolutely. And I think, you know, if you've been taking a look at this card and you're thinking of buying him, I think he's definitely worth going for. Whether he'll increase or decrease in price, if anything, over the long run, he will eventually increase a couple months down the line in price. There's no doubt about that. But maybe over the course of this week, he might slightly go down a little bit in value, but I don't think by much. Um, but but on the whole, enjoy the cards, and I think you know if you if you're potentially thinking of buying him, I'd definitely give him a go. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later.